Brenda. You do use Real Talk. Real Talk is going to be us and some special guests talking about topics that are very relevant to our society today with no filter. Our special guests are people from all walks of life and we hope that through their experiences and opinions we'll learn something from them. So for our first episode our topic will be dating apps and uh, for today we have our special guests Gladys and Ash. So Gladys and Ash how are you? I'm good. <laughs> well, I'm good. good. Okay, great. Okay, so before we start, um, what do you think are dating apps? There are apps that help you meet people. I see. And for you, what are dating apps? It's what's commonly used by youth. Mm -hmm. Are you pro or con dating apps? I'm pro. Are you pro or con dating apps? I'm con. Okay, so we'll know their opinions about dating apps throughout this video, so keep on watching. Okay, so you mentioned um, earlier that you were pro dating apps, right? Correct. Have you used it? Using them every day. <laughs> so you're still using it right now? Yeah, I am. And how's your experience so far? Good, very good. Most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time? What yeah. do you mean? I mean you meet different kinds of people. Sometimes there's good chemistry, sometimes there's not. So you mentioned earlier that you do not agree in using dating apps. Um, why is that? I never tried using dating apps because it's like putting your safety at risk because you don't know the person personally. I'm pro definitely because um, most of my relationships that I had are from dating apps. As part of the LGBT culture, it's one way of getting to connect with someone. Like for example, di naman necessary na kailangan dapat relationships kagade like intimate term. Parang can have relationships like for in a friendship way parang ganon. Are dating apps helpful? It depends on the person. I think in most cases dating apps are helpful. Why? Because for men. Maybe some men are busy most of the time. I work most of the time. I don't get to meet women in my daily life. I do that through dating apps. It helps with something else. In real life, if I meet someone, I don't know if she likes me initially or not. But on a dating app, I know that because she already swiped right on me. That's how we matched. So that's a good beginning. A good point, right? Because it's nerve-wracking to like approach a girl. I'm not talking about nerve-wracking, I'm talking about mm -hmm. time-wise. So, time efficiency. And how about you? Do you think it's helpful? For me, it's not. Because I believe that easy come, easy go. And women are sensitive. I think they will get hurt if they just trust a person easily. Of course, um, dating apps could be helpful. It could also be not helpful because one, um, if you're really looking for love and you do it online, and some of the guys aren't really looking for love yeah. there, but just you know, fun maybe, it would be a waste of time on the girls' end. Or it could also work as for the guys. And your point is. Um, it would save you time because you'd already know which ones are interested in you. Both are good points. Pro. I think there's nothing wrong naman with meeting other people or kahit anong purpose mo kung bakit ka nasa dating app. So I guess it's okay nang naman. Do you think that dating apps actually work? Well, yes, they work. People use dating apps for different purposes. It's not only for a romantic relationship. Some people look for a hookup that definitely works. Some people look for friends that works too. Romantic relationship, I think it works mm -hmm. in some rare cases. Some people say that they're looking for a travel buddy. I'm not sure if that works or not. And how about you, Gladys? It depends if you're lucky enough to find your perfect match. I agree with him. If you want to travel or you just want to hook up, I think it would work. <laughs> so yeah, you both agree that it works for different reasons. And uh, for finding true love, very small percentage, right? 
siguro pro kasi as someone who uses it then it's a way for people tulad ko na shy ganyan wala masyadong network of friends to meet other people and yun siguro yung bad thing na lang nang nangyayari is parang nagiging um, naging way siya para dun sa sinasabi nilang masamang bagay na sa sex ganyan or other vices ganun pero good siya to connect people do you think dating apps are killing romance no i think romance is already dead it's not the fault of dating apps. No, it's the truth. I think the internet in general, I mean, the time that we live in now, romance is getting tinier and tinier. Yes, it's getting romance. Kasi, di ba, parang sobrang bali na lang sa atin na parang chat ka lang, hindi na nagpuput ng effort para makapag-one ka talaga dun sa person. Tsaka, di ba nga, katulad nung dati, biligawan pa. Or mag effort pa. Kasi nga, di ba, mas tumatagal pag nag-exert ka ng effort sa relationship. So, siguro before, I'd say no. But then now, considering na technology, it's widespread, I think okay lang mag-dating app. Kasi, to be honest, may dating app din ako. Pero for fun lang siya. Like, gumawa kami ng friends ko ng dating app for fun. And kung makita lang namin yung people. Do you think dating apps are dangerous? Uh, generally, no, but of course there is danger everywhere. There is danger while you walking in the street or all over the internet. There is danger. You have to be careful with who you are dealing with or who are you going to meet and where. Of course, there are scammers on dating apps. That doesn't apply, of course, on everyone, but you have to be careful. Pro, I guess, but it really depends on your purpose, I think. Like, if you're doing it for fun, I guess, okay lang din naman. Kasi I think that's what it's for also. Um, not just for, like, for people who are, as in, yung purpose ng maghanap ng partner or like that. Ako pro, because of my purpose, but I don't know for other people. So, for... Our last part, uh, what are your final thoughts on dating apps? In my perspective, I wouldn't say use them or don't use them. It all depends on what do you need, what do you want. Some people are very cautious with dating apps, even very uncomfortable having conversation with strangers. Okay, then don't use them. But if on some level you feel like dating apps would allow you to meet new people or have any kind of not necessarily romantic relationship, it could be a, a new friend or whatever you're looking for. If you think that's useful to you, then go ahead and use them. I never argue that. You can use it for fun. Mm -hmm. And if you're just bored, just want to talk with someone, mm -hmm. I think you can use all right guys so there you have it those are the opinions of Ash and Gladys I hope you guys learned something from what they've said and uh, at the end of the day we all have our own preferences I hope you guys learned something for our first episode and if you have other comments leave them down below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to all our social media platforms all the links will be down in the description below. Again, my name is Jor. See you on the next episode of Real Talk, where you do has no filter. Thank you so much for watching.